Good morning, guys. Before I start this video, um, I want to do a really quick just kind of disclaimer for last week. Lately, like, work has not been good for me. Great Movie Ride's a very physical, attract exhausting attraction on its own, which I know and I knew going in, or I had an idea going in. <sighs> last couple months, I've mentioned we are understaffed. We are understaffed. Um, I guess a lot of Hollywood studios and Disney itself is understaffed, apparently. That means I've been working harder, longer hours. There have been a lot of issues with regulations and policies and management that I'm not going to go into, but because of that, that has made cast morale be very low. So literally on stage, I'm stressed because I'm tired and I feel like I'm walking on thin ice because I'm afraid of you know, doing something wrong or missing something that's a safety issue um, and losing my job. And then backstage, um, like, you know, on our breaks and stuff, it's also been negative because cast are talking about this person or that person or that manager or, you know, how this is stupid or something like that. So literally when I'm on stage, I'm stressed and it's negative. And when I'm backstage, it's, I'm, you know, stressed out because everything that's going on. And I'm the type of person that like, I like to help people. I like to fix problems. And when I can't fix a problem or I'm around someone who's just always negative, it, it literally makes me tense, just thinking about it right now makes me tense and stuff. And so that was literally the definition of more or less every shift. Like I tried, I was watching the vlogs back. I, tr I was trying so hard to be happy and positive, but like as soon as I would get home, I would like just be an emotional wreck. But I just wanted to say that that, that is why. Um, I'm going to try very hard to get you know read my bible more um you know listen to positive music i listen to z88.3 which is um, a really good station in the area um i'm going to try and focus on myself more um and having time to myself um by going on those walks to get my extra steps which will make me a little bit healthier um, and Jared and I are going to try and plan now that we have kind of a, a decent schedule um, or like a good flow of how things work at home. Um, we're going to try and go on dates more and hang out more, um, even if it's just going to Disney Springs and hanging out. Disclaimer! Sorry guys if you did not enjoy last week's videos. Oh, by the way, I don't really know what day it is actually. I know it's Monday though. <laughs> Today was actually a really good day. Um, I got to see some coordinators that I like that I typically don't work with. Um, I got to work with really good gangsters today. Um, we had a good cast today. Um, and I had a lot of like, had some good conversations with some CPs, um, some CP alumni actually, um, that currently work at the Great Movie Ride. And like, because a lot of our CPs are actually leaving here soon, which is sad. Um, but like we just kind of talked about like their experience and stuff. I was almost felt like their therapist kind of. And I explained to them how not everybody at the Great Movie Ride is the nicest person. Um, and that's to be expected in any role. Um, but it's kind of more so here just because you're you depend depend on each other a lot more at the Great Movie Ride because it's so very fast paced. It's a lot of like kind of drama queen slash um, like prima donna. Also I said don't let them, kind of like what I was telling you guys, it's like don't let them bother you. Um, when they start to get attitude -y or whatever, like as long as you are doing your job to the best of your ability, they should stay out of it. Um, if they're trying to give you constructive criticism, listen to it and try to take it in a positive way. Um, and something else, I had a really good conversation with one of the CPs about who I thought was very like kind of sporadic. Come to find out she suffers from anxiety. And like I didn't know that and it explains so much and she was telling me about that. I felt really bad because I had personally judged her. And I am developing a small, a very small bit of it um, because of the great movie, right? And because it is very overwhelming. I was telling her that like you just gotta take everything with a grain of salt and you gotta take it one step at a time. You know your pace and when you start to get anxious, finish whatever your job is. Like if you're loading a vehicle, finish it as quickly as you possibly can. 
Um, it doesn't have to be perfect, just finish it. And then go into a corner and take deep breaths. And that's literally what I've had to do sometimes, especially in that position, because I get so stressed when I'm loading vehicles that like I will look finish, like I will cut it, I will, you know, fill the vehicle as much as I possibly can, and then I will go into a corner and I will just like take deep breaths. I have um, new hand sanitizer that's for stress relief. Um, I also have an essential oil that I put on my forehead and around my nose. Um, it's peppermint oil to help with stress headaches. And like I do whatever I need to to kind of just like take my head out of where I am. You literally gotta take any second or minute that you have to just kind of like be and just breathe. So anyway, that's my tidbit of information for or you know, go to motivational talk for the day. So cool, two, two cool things that I got in the mail is this fill a bag, help feed families, um, donations for, to help stamp out hunger this Saturday. But I also got a huge bag. It says fill the bag, um, bring home to someone in need. Um, I guess it says fill the bag with non-perishable food and leave it by your mailbox before your usual mail delivery time. Postage service is gonna come and pick it up. And uh, it says that you can put in canned fruits, canned vegetables, peanut butter, 100% fruit juices, soup, cereal, canned meats, pasta, pasta sauce, canned tuna, and oatmeal. Which typically half of that stuff is stuff that they don't typically take. So we have green beans and what was this? More green beans. This chicken condensed soup is trash because it went bad in February. Oops. But like that's really cool. I love like donation stuff like that when it comes to like food. I'm actually going to look at our chicken noodle soup. That's good for a couple years. I typically like drinking, drinking, eating chicken noodle soup when I'm sick, but I haven't been having it lately. So I'm looking to see which one of these may be expiring soon so I can put those in there. Say hello! <laughs> it is actually lovely out here. And oh my goodness, my plants are growing more in here than they are in the other one. Wow, okay, so I don't know if you remember or not, when I went to Target, I got some seeds, and I put some of them in um, some of my pots that I was currently trying to grow seeds in, and <laughs> something's biting me. And well, these are my, um, these are actually my daisies. These are growing pretty well on their own. That's pretty much the only plant that in the, um, cat grass is the only two things that are actually growing from my original planting um, this little thing I believe is actually my California poppy but these little guys are actually um, poppies that I got from Target and they're growing so good look at them go and then these are forget-me-nots I'm really excited about these these are pretty and then this is actually a rose um, thing that I'm trying to kind of revive. I don't think it's going to happen. Um, but look, they're growing. They're so pretty. A couple hours later, um, I have recently discovered a new vlogger, video reviewer, how-to video person, Sarah Daichi. Her phrase is rhymes with peachy. I love her a lot. And I'm currently cooking sauce made from scratch. P.F. Chang's. If you've been watching my vlogs lately, you know I love me some P.F. Chang's. I don't know why. I just Jared has kind of got me addicted to Asian food, and I don't know how to stop. I used to be really into kind of like making things from scratch, and on days that Jared's not with me, I do make things from scratch. Um, the reason why I do it when Jared's not here is because. Jared's a little picky. He doesn't like what I make. I mean, he'll eat it, but like, yeah, I know, and he doesn't. I know that he doesn't like it. That said, I just haven't found something that he likes. I gotta, I gotta keep working on that again. Where is my hand? Found the hand. Hand goes like that. That goes like that. And dinner today is honey chicken, and we're going to heat up some rice here soon. I should probably read the directions because I can never figure out 
11 to 12 minutes, stirring occasionally. 11 to 12 minutes. but I just wanted to say thank you so much for watching hit the thumbs up button if you liked it hit subscribe and I will see you tomorrow